So we're going to talk a little bit about then this whole gift giving business on what can you give someone in order to enhance that sense of reciprocity. We all know that people have a natural tendency that if you, we all want to give back to those who have given to us, right? With that, that's the principle right there. A little chocolate business showcases, even in something that you know is going on, even, even in that environment, you still feel that it's working, right? Now, <laughs> Michael doesn't like me to tell this story, but when he was in university, uh, we always like to get the kids to uh, pay their own, as much as their own way as possible during university. So my daughter got a job at uh, Canada Trust as a teller, and my son decided that he'd be a uh, working bar. Good move. Good move, is right. Now, you're working at a bar, and they don't pay you that much money. What is the most important in a waiter? Yeah. What's the, in, in a restaurant. What's the most important factor about a waiter's income? Tips. 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 So, if you're a waiter, how can you get a lot more tips than other people in the, in the restaurant? How can you get more tips? Put a smiley face on the receipt. Put a smiley face on the receipt. <laughs> Provide good service. Does that give you more tips? Providing good service. Yes. People expect good service, right? They expect it. Great service. Great service. Great smile. Great smile. What else can you do from a reciprocity perspective to get more tips? Use their name. Use their name? Yes. If you can find out what it is, yes. Give them candy. Give them candy. Do you think if Michael was serving the table and he went up and he did all the good stuff and, and, and go through the specials and all that kind of stuff in a very powerful way and they're all happy and at the end he would give them a couple of, which a lot of places do, right? Give a couple of candies. Do you think his tips would go up? They did. It, it does. Getting a couple of candies, we don't even think about it. It's just an automatic little response we have that indicates there's a little relationship there. They got something. Now, if he wanted to get bigger tips, what could he do then besides giving this young couple here a couple of candies? What could he do? No, that's, that's part of exceptional service. We'll say that he does all that service stuff. See, but did she give a bigger tip for that? And that works too. But this is the reciprocity principle. All that stuff works. How could you get more tips if you give them one candy each? I, I actually worked as a bartender here at uh, university, and I will tell you, the good customers, not more than once out of my pocket, I would buy them some drinks. Not only would they buy me some drinks, but the tips, instead of 15%, you might get 30. That's right. It is unbelievable what happens when you give somebody something and the candies on a national basis and tested across hundreds of restaurants. No, there's no question about it. If you want to get more tips, you can give them two candies each. That got more tips than even one candy each. But it was the third approach that we talked about that really made the difference with tips. And that was... He would take his candies, he'd come over and give them a couple of candies, one each, and then he would turn away. And then he'd go, oh, and turn back and say something nice, like, oh, you guys were so nice, here's a couple more. And tips went through the roof. And according to my son, it was all about the turn. <laughs> I love that line. All about the turn, you go like this. <laughs> so when we're talking about gifts, because now we're going to talk about what can you do in your business to give something to your clients, to your referral sources, in order to help build that relationship 
and get what it is you want. 